So in this video, I'm going to discuss vacuoles and the functions of vacuoles in uh, animal cells and plant cells. So mostly we see vacuoles mostly in plant cells, fungi, and protists. Let me erase that and write that down there. Protist. However, they are also in, located in animal cells, but they are much smaller and not as abundant. And so most of the time when you talk about a vacuole, you talk about a plant vacuole. But in general, vacuoles are sacs. They are essentially large vesicles. that store materials that you have in excess. And then there are other ones called contractile vacuoles that actually pump out water in plants when the plant cell has too much water. And so now we'll talk about a vacuole, but keep in mind this is a plant vacuole. And so plants have a big central vacuole, as you can see right there. It takes up most of the cell. And then it's up to 90% of the volume in some cells. And its function is mostly to store water, nutrients, pigments, and waste products. So it stores water, waste, nutrients, as well as waste whoops sorry not again as well as pigments and let me erase this it has one more function that we will discuss And it regulates, it essentially helps with the turgor pressure. Of the cell. And what turgor pressure is, is the pressure that pushes the plasma membrane against the cell wall so it essentially regulates like how it determines if the cell is shriveled up or turgid or flaccid and so you have three stages the cell wall three different types And so when it's pushed out, and the vacuole is here, and it pushes it out, it is turgid. And now, if the cell is a little bit shriveled up, and the vacuole is here, it's flaccid. And finally, if it's completely shriveled up and then the vacuole is shriveled as well, it is called plasmal plasmalized. 